Heretics, welcome back. It's time to go fishing. We are out here and uh, this place is super clear water and um, we were out here yesterday, we caught some crankbait fish, so I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna be starting off with. Maybe some top water, but I got a late start. Yesterday was kind of a fiasco. I didn't get off the water till eight o'clock. Um, I had to wait in line an hour to actually get my boat in from the lake onto the trailer. Got back to my hotel, had to do some stuff with the boat till about 10.30, didn't get checked in until 11, and then had to wait in line for an hour to eat dinner. So I didn't get to bed until after midnight, one o'clock, so I didn't get out here as early as I would have liked, but hey, whatever. We're going fishing right now. We're gonna have to figure it out. And uh, hopefully I can find some shade pockets, maybe get some, some top water fish that way. But uh, let's go fishing. Let's hopefully catch some big smallies and some big largies and let's have some fun out here. Follow along the day. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell to receive notifications so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Also, if you have any questions, make sure to comment them below. And if you've been liking my channel, please give me a thumbs up. Also, as always, we have all the stuff from today's video, all the tackle, the rods, reels, all the equipment linked down in the description. So make sure to check it out. And there's awesome discount codes down there for you guys to take advantage of. So let's go fishing. Let's go catch some fish. There's one. Ned rig fish. Right up on the bank. Right up on the bank. Stay down. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Dang it. There's one with it. Ah. There's one, finally, little one. A little one on the Ned Rig. Real little one. Real little one. Oh, ow. Gotta be careful with these little guys. They will hook you. Uh, well, we finally caught one, <laughs> if, the, if you can really consider that counting. But nevertheless, we got bit. We got our hands wet. We got a fish from the boat. Um, hopefully we can uh, find ourselves some better quality fish than that. Um, I've gotten some bites on the Ned Rig so far, but for whatever reason, I haven't been able to land very many of them. I uh, broke off a few and uh, just didn't get good hook sets on a couple others. So it's been a little frustrating to start off the morning. But hopefully we can turn that around and just uh, fish hard and hopefully get a couple more bites here pretty quick and uh, start putting some of the pieces of the puzzle together. One of the things that you got to pay attention to, especially when you're out here fishing super, super clear water like I got out here. I mean, I'm in 24 foot and I can see the bottom. So this is like crazy clear water is you want to throw to the dark water and what i mean by that is it's where the light changes because you can see where it's shallow it's a lot lighter and then when it goes into that deeper water there's that dark line and you want to make sure you're fishing that dark line because those fish are going to sit in that shade or where that color changes a lot of people call it fishing the dark water sometimes that's the shadows that a ledge or a little rock pile create inside of the water. So you gotta pay attention, you gotta look, you gotta find these kinds of things. And uh, paying attention to that dark water line is, is very important. And the, also you wanna fish little shade pockets because those fish are gonna sit in that dark water. They're gonna fish, sit in those shade pockets because they're gonna use it as ambush points and that's where you're gonna get bit. There's one. There's one. There's the Ned Rig fish. Stay on there this time. Stay on there this time. 
There we go. There's a fish. Another rat. Another rat, but it's in the boat. It's in the little dual mold net rig right there with my own poor laminate net worm. But that's not what we're here for. That's for sure. Well, I know that these fish have been small to say the least, but one of the things that you want to do with the net rig is you just want to you want to fish it as fast as you can effectively because you want to cover water with it. Now this isn't a reaction bait where you fish it fast and reel it, but you want to fish it slow, fast, if that makes sense. So basically you want to fish areas. You don't want to drag it for five minutes. You want to pick a uh, the end of a point or the back of a cove or a back of a cut or you know, this little lay down or something like that. Pick those spots, fish it slow in those areas, and then go to the next spot. You wanna cover the high percentage areas because you can waste a lot of time and a lot of dead water by fishing something slow like a drop shot or a Ned rig and just dragging it through dead water. So hit those high percentage areas and then move on to the next one. Just keep doing that and you're gonna get more bites. There's one, there's one, another one. This one feels a little bit better. This one feels a little better. Actually, I think I was hung up on something, but that's the little guy again. But we got a fish in the boat again. Little guy. But at least we're getting bit start the morning we were not getting bit so at least we're getting bit this time something that I'm noticing when I'm getting bit um, out here today is really long casts you want to fish cast about as far as you can and um, sometimes you're gonna lose them sometimes you're not gonna get good hook sets but I know that I'm getting more bites when I'm casting this thing far away from the boat with super clear water like I got out here today, you gotta make sure you're making those long casts because you wanna not let those fish see you. So the longer the cast that you can make, the more chances and more bites you're gonna get. And a lot of times you're gonna be able to catch those bigger fish because they're not feeling that pressure from your boat. They're not seeing the shadow that your boat's making. And uh, making long casts definitely makes a difference when you're fishing clear water. There's one. There's one. There's one. Finally. It's been a tough morning. This feels like a better one. You never know when you got light line, spinning rod. You never know what they're gonna be like. It's fighting good though, that's for sure. Oh yeah, it's a solid, solid fish. Solid fish. There you go. There, there we, we go. go. Not, Not a, a giant, giant but best one of the morning, the morning so far. But the net rig is, is an awesome, awesome technique. technique. You can, can catch, catch a ton, ton of fish, you can catch them shallow, you can catch them, you can catch catch them deep. deep. And, and on, on a, a tough, tough morning like this, the net rig is going to get you bites. bites. There's no wind, super clear water. This is where you got to throw the net rig. And these net rigs, man, they get bit. They, they get, get bit. bit. They, they don't, don't always know. catch big ones, but they can. But they definitely are going to get you bites when you can't get bit on anything else. So a lot of times when I'm fishing a Ned Rig, I like to fish it around points and kind of maybe some steeper, smaller cuts right down the middle of it. But I like to be around rock. I like to be around points. I like to be around chunk rock if possible, but where I'm fishing right now, I don't see a lot of it. So I'm just kind of doing, doing it around areas that have the right physical structure, um, casting to that dark water and uh, just really working it slow and trying to keep it in those shadowed areas, keep it in those ambush points for those bass to come out and eat. So I want to take a minute to talk to you guys about my Ned Rig setup. What I'm using out here today 
is the Daiwa Fuego with the Six Sense Lux 7 foot 2 medium moderate spinning rod. Um, it's an 8 to 17 pound test line rating. I've got Berkley X9 braided line to an 8 pound test Sun Sunline FC sniper fluorocarbon and the Ned Rig jig head I got right here is one that I make myself. It's got a one aught owner hook in it. It's a 3 16 ounce and um, I like the little keeper that it's got on here. It really helps keep those plastics on. It keeps them from sliding down. And then what I'm using today is the Do It Molds Midwest Finesse Worm that I pour myself. It's a green pumpkin purple laminate color. A little bit of flake in the purple side and a little bit of black flake in the green pumpkin side. But um, this is a great setup for the clear water. Very, very natural looking bait, which is definitely what you want in clear water. Um, that that head right there is definitely gonna get you bites. It's definitely gonna get bit. And on a day like this, where it's slick, calm, high sun, super clear water, the fish don't want to bite, put yourself a Ned Rig on, put that eight, six pound test fluorocarbon with a nice quality spinning rod like this one, and uh, it's gonna get you bites.